A special night out at Beasley Coliseum. The Washington State women's basketball team honored by receiving their Pac-12 tournament championship rings before tonight's game and the raising of the championship banner up in the rafters. But that's not the only reason it was a big night. The Gonzaga Bulldogs out in Pullman to renew a bit of a rivalry between these two programs that both made the tourney last year. And let me tell you, this one lived up to the bill. We'll pick things up in the final seconds of regulation. Gonzaga down three. Kaylin Trong was huge tonight. No bucket bigger than this one. A three to send the game to OT, tied up at 67s. In OT, the star of the night, Charlize Ledger Walker. She's helped build this program into what it is, gets the bucket to go. She had a game high, 26 points. Later in overtime, some nice ball movement, finds Estera Tuhina. She buries a triple for a four point lead. She had 15 on the night. On the other end, Bulldogs staying in this. Lenny Trong, another clutch three, gets GU within one. She had 22, but the Cougs would respond with back to back buckets. Beyonce B and Eleonora Villa to put the game out of reach. What a game. It's party time for the Cougs as they move to 2-0 on the season with a 77-72 overtime win. A game to remember at Beasley Coliseum. Our Andrew Quinn was out there tonight and joins us live from Pullman. Andrew, the game was a bit slow at the start, but boy, did it deliver late. Well, Travis, it wasn't the most beautiful basketball I've ever seen with 42 turnovers in the game, but boy, did it have a tremendous ending. Kaitlyn Trong's deep three sending the game into overtime, but there was no give up in Cami Etheridge's team. In overtime, Coach Etheridge credited her leaders, especially guard Charlize Ledger Walker, for keeping the rest of her players' heads held high and route to the Cougs, outscoring Gonzaga 10-5 in OT. A great learning experience for us. I thought if we would lose this game, it would be tragic to have lost it. But um, I, th I think it's Charlize again. I think she's in the huddle going, we got this. So I just think it was just, you know, put the ball in our best guards' hands and, and let them go make plays. Ledger Walker had 20 points in the second half and in overtime in large part due to attacking the rim thanks to several Zags being in foul trouble. They were icing a lot on defense, um, not letting us use the screen. So that was something we kind of talked about. And one way to beat an ice is to get downhill and attack that big. And um, a lot of times, you know, you can kind of juke bigs when they're on the back foot. So I think I was just trying to read that and um, the lane was opening up. They weren't really collapsing in on those drives. So I was able to get to the rim. For me personally, I can say that that's, you know, one of the, the, the funnest things to do is play in games like that. Well, there you have it. It was one of the funnest games to play in, and it was a heck of an ending here at Beasley Coliseum. Now, both of these teams' next games will be at home. Gonzaga will face Toledo, and WSU will host Idaho State. For now, reporting live at Beasley Coliseum in Pullman, Andrew Quinn, Crem2 Sports.